Hey guys, this is Snowy and welcome to the ultimate traffic guide in City Skylines. For this video I am using my current city which I'm working on which is Bus Town and in this city I will tell you exactly all the tips and tricks you need to make sure your traffic is going on well even when using despawn mode off. So this video is also mainly focused for that group because uh, on the console version you don't have the despawn off function since you cannot use the TMPE mod on the console. Okay, so all the mods that I will be calling uh, to use in this video, they will be listed in the description down in the description of course, and there you can download them to use them. Okay, let's start from the start. I uh, will escape this, nice view, and we go to resume game. And well, you, you can my city, this is the city which I'm working on, and uh, yes, from here I will, uh, I will start. So the first suggestion is that I say like about roundabouts. Uh, when you start in a game, uh, let me see, my game started roughly around here, near this pond, and this was roughly the beginning, and the suggestion I have is about when you are adding a roundabout to a highway, keep that roundabout pretty far away from the highway. I see people putting a roundabout very close to an exit point. They create like a situation, I will demonstrate quickly, they take for example, uh, let's say you have um, this, this contraption, like this, and they build immediately a roundabout to here, using the roundabout builder, builder. it's um, downloadable in the description, and they put it straight here bombs and they connect the roads up and they think it's okay no this is not okay because many traffic that is coming from here these on and off ramps are already pretty short and if they hit this roundabout if it's slightly busy on this roundabout then already you have like traffic jam over here and on the highway so that's a bad thing don't do it create more space uh, wait, wait a second let me deselect the trees uh, Oh. Picker, uh, buildings, props, decal, surface, tree, nodes, okay, again, select it and bulldoze away. This is the move it mod by the way, you can also download in the uh, Steam Workshop and the link will be provided below. So every road that is coming from the main road, main highway, which you see over here, has its space. You can also see here. What I, have did, what I have done. I usually make these kind of contraptions like a roundabout going underneath a highway and having long on and off ramps. This makes sure that traffic always has the space to go towards any roundabout whatsoever. Yeah? Okay. Next thing, next tip is like about roundabouts themselves. Now if you look closely at the roundabouts, what do you see on most of my roundabouts? Look closely, yeah? Oh, by the way, I'm playing with despawn mode off all the time. Yeah? And my traffic is currently sitting at 88%. Nice, isn't it? Okay. So, let's get out of this view. So, what do you see about my roundabouts in general? Yes. No buildings are added or located at it. You don't want any commercial building nor any, any industrial building or whatsoever at your roundabout. Nothing that can stop, make vehicles go stop and load, unload, park or repair their cars, whatever they do, you know, on a roundabout. Simply don't do that. Keep your roundabouts as clear as possible. You know, nothing on it. You see, nowhere in this city I have, I do have a fire over here, rebuild. <laughs> uh, let's go to this side as well. Uh, let's see, do I have a roundabout here? Yes, nothing on it. Do I have a roundabout here? You see, nothing on it. Props, assets, all those kind of things are fine. They're not, you know, they're not messing with the roundabout. And for the rest, 
if you keep your roundabout clear then it's okay then people will will go on yeah but that also counts for everything that is sort of in the neighborhood of the roundabout so now you might say yeah but what about this building yes but this building is also associated to this road and is not hampering this roundabout huh okay now next uh, thing on the menu is the usage of main roads so main roads is not the same way as highways the highways are the main arteries those are these big roads coming from outside your map you see but main roads are basically used to well, cover an, an, an section of your uh, city and let's say I have started around here or here I don't know anymore but a main road can be for example this six lane road so I started maybe here and this is a main road for me around here around here around here also also this part around here around here around here around here around here 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 and here even going to here but this is around the city does not matter and around here above and about in here to the left as well and in this pole the landscape also you see a main road which is this big road around it so here also the same thing keep this big road free don't build any uh, commercial industrial or, or, or any kind of stuff on it now a simple uh, you know um, power generator like this parking garage I mean it's okay a bus stop as you see it you know a bus stopping here it's it's okay as long as you create like a, yeah a place for them to stop it's okay because bus stops usually generate extra space for it so most of the traffic has no issues uh, with that yeah so that's uh, that's one thing so keep in mind no stuff on your main road because your main road is only meant for your traffic to go on thus making only your um, area where you build in inside that 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 area and in there you can build yeah okay let's get to the next option is no unnecessary left turns um, no unnecessary left turns it's a thing you will not use that often um, when I was building this city, now I have to think, where did I encounter this problem? Oh yeah, it was about here. You can see that this roundabout here is relatively close to this road. And I noticed a little drop in my traffic that when I saw that these cars were coming from here and they wanted to, to go to the left. And it piled up. It created a little bit of chuck a block around here. And I thought to myself, well, you know what? Um, when there is another roundabout close by you can say like well if you want to go to the left fine but I force you go to the right you take the roundabout make a 360 and then go back and that works pretty smoothly you create with the traffic manager traffic manager also in the model list below you create the necessary lane connectors simply by this you force two lanes here to the right force two lanes here to the right and one lane here straight on and make sure there is a node available here for people to change their lanes otherwise they would be not able to get to the outer lane to go straight on and even even if they would be forced to go on in this side they can take this round about to a 360 and come back so that's no problem also okay Let's see, what do we have more about the traffic manager? As this sign, like I said, it is downloadable, downloadable in the Steam Workshop. Um, about roundabouts themselves. Now let's take a average roundabout, this one. So it's not too busy, it's all like uh, nice and few. Um, about priority signs, which are very important. Now, to get the best traffic flow, it's in, in its best interest that traffic flows steady on on the roundabout if you let traffic come from the roads uh, on it uh, first then it will be you know choked up because then everything stalls on itself so with traffic manager you can go and select a few options to make your life a little bit more pleasant you start with 
Well, when you create the roundabout, so let's say with Control O, you can already set up this um, option, set up TMPE, it says it about here, and you can, you know, uh, enter these options, so you have several options already set. Uh, that's nice. So for example, if we go back to here, and we click for example on the priority signs, then these things, when you create a roundabout, are already set. Those are priority signs. We are not talking about junction restrictions, although I think it will create uh, the restriction if you click this, you see these items. Um, if you use uh, the roundabout builder, it will only turn this option to green when the option I selected is selected. And this means, this option means that any traffic will drive on no matter what is happening into this circle. This circle is called a node. In, in, in a node, traffic can change location can change direction yeah so that means like that if this thing is set to green traffic can always drive on no matter what happens so in your roundabout this item on the roundabout because the, these symbols are on the roundabout and these symbols are on this road so this symbol says like just drive on and also it says here here and here you see everything is on green these things on the other hand mean like pick your lane and I have set them both to green and the reason for that is is because I often apply like uh, the no lane switching option when traffic is approaching a roundabout you don't want uh, traffic to switching lanes in front of a roundabout because that can sometimes often create chaos let them do it further on it's usually uh, usually better unless there is no space for example here there is no even space between this junction and this roundabout so everything is fine so I say like okay when you are coming from here and you're either you're driving here here or here and you approach this and you see this you can pick whatever lane you want on this roundabout already here so that's a benefit if I did not do it, then and, and somebody would come driving here. Let's say they come from here and they had to take a right turn to this lane. They stay on this lane, come here, they see this arrow and they think, Oh no, I have to go to the right. Uh, you see? So you give them options. Give people options with, uh, with, this, well, with this option. Okay, then about the... Uh, lane arrows you see all these lane arrows here on the roundabout now this roundabout has three lanes what you want is designated lanes you don't want one lane doing multiple things so in my case I select two lanes for going on so people can drive on the roundabout and just one for off uh, the standard situation is like this you often see this as a standard situation now you can do two things you can select it manually and select it like this or you can use the control button no, let's get um let's get out of here like that you can use the control button select this node like that and then tap here you see now it also changes um, this way works best because you have then two lanes for people to drive around the roundabout and just one lane here to go off and because they can also pick whatever lane they want is this symbol they can choose whatever lane they want to go wherever they want enhancing your traffic experience okay now what most people forget is that when they are building a roundabout and this is not a highway this is a normal three-way one-way road uh, if they select a highway roundabout let me see do I have one uh, yeah officially this is a yeah it can it, it, all, it also states that it's a highway you see groove highway now um, what is more also important is that you 
put down the speed on such a roundabout because if it's a highway it is set natively to 100 kilometers per hour and oh my god I did not even change this what foolish of me okay so select the 50 and make the roundabout set to 50 as well now depending on traffic uh, sheer traffic numbers you can also uh, change the approaching vehicle speed to a lower uh, amount um, what I usually do if, if the traffic is pretty hefty from one side I change this value to 40 but as you can see it's not that busy over here so I just let it go yes okay so we have that covered that's all about the roundabout uh, uh, let's put this aside um, yeah so far it is yes okay now the option other options you see here like are well these options toggle traffic lights um, well it's kind of uh, not necessary because when you use priority signs these you place them then the traffic lights automatically will be disabled so no need for this option this option is for time traffic lights I am not really a fan of traffic lights because they can be useful in some occasions but I am not such a fan of it so I don't use them so here by the way I noticed the uh, lanes that are using you know a lane that is doing two things so I click on lane arrows apparently I have not done this yet this one also and this one also and let's say this one only two to the right one to the left okay let's go to the next option which is it which are cargo and train terminals oh my gosh you know uh, many people I see so many save games so many videos from people using those things and they plunk those things just in the middle of anywhere you know just um, if they have an industry area yeah plunk the, the, the train terminal somewhere in the middle and be done with it no it does not work that way those things need space those things need space you can see here already I have a train terminal over here I also have one over here and what do you notice this is by the way an, an oil area which is pretty busy by the way but because I give it a lot of space give a lot of approaching road towards it and back and also to this way same goes for this one a long approaching road from all the way here to this cargo harbor and to this train station so that it never ever shows any problems at all so make sure that you give these guys both the train terminals and the cargo harbors enough space for approaching vehicles trucks in this case yeah. uh, with the train terminal by the way also placement is important I will show you here on this piece of flat land if you have like a road and most people use the one lane no two lane one way road well it's either like this or either like that now what do you think where the train terminal has to go okay I will tell you uh, when we find the train terminal it is train this is the cargo station so do you think this one should be here no it should be there and this one should be there it has all to do with how the cargo is going into the station and out of the station I will show you here how it goes um, it goes in but this one is not so busy but there's no one here at all uh, this one is more busy okay look how it goes in come on go in and where they come out they come out here you see they are not hampering each other now imagine if this station was on the other side then these guys would take a left turn and the other ones come out on the other end and will hamper this traffic so keep in mind um, this kind of uh, structure so if you have a road that is going from left to right put the train terminal under the road if it's going from right to left put it above and now you might ask yourself yeah but, but what about you know vertical I don't know 
no problem, no problem. Like this. And like that, you mean? No, that's no problem. I mean, you can just, just think like, um, you know, if you know that uh, in, in this situation it's under it, yeah, and the road is above it, then I use the move it mod <laughs> because I need the space, <laughs> and I select this option again, then I know already like it has to be on the right side. Because if I turn this 90 degrees, you know, clockwise, I get this image. And in this situation, I cannot do it because not enough space. And in this situation, I put it here. Because if I turn this one 90 degrees anti-clockwise, it will create this situation. You see? In any way, traffic will come from this way, enters here, comes out on that way. So in that situation, you will avoid a lot of uh, issues uh, with, uh, with traffic. So many people forget that. So with train terminals, uh, cargo terminals uh, for, uh, for uh, ships, uh, keep in mind from what end they are loaded as for optimal traffic. Like here I did the same thing with the, um, look, the, uh, it, it's going in here and it's coming out on the other end. You see? Now it's difficult to place this thing on the other side, but you have these people who make who are making the road coming from the other side. So, yeah. So, it's just to know, eh? Um, I spot something that I want to fix immediately because I hate, <laughs> I hate the fact that these guys are parking while well, there's a parking lot over there. Okay. Let's go on, because this list is kind of uh, endless, but I want to help you guys, you know, with uh, despawn mode off to uh, get your traffic just in order. Because, you know, I see things uh, on YouTube when I think like, oh my gosh. And even, you know, when I watch Biffas, for example, I li like Biffas fix it uh, videos. I really can recommend it, but you know, there are a few things, you know, sometimes missing in those videos. And I hope to, well, cover them all as much as possible. Okay. Next one, oh, oh, uh, 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 sorry, speech impeachment. Our favorite uh, subjects are pedestrians. <laughs> yeah, you want them off your road. You want them not crossing the road. So what do you do? You create, you know, these kind of walkways, you see, where there are pedestrians, create walkways like these. And I have more of those. Let's see, where do we have more? Here several more not everywhere but on places where it's busy where it's pretty busy you can put them and they they, they are very functional uh, to to say the least if you place these things then don't forget to go to traffic manager go to junctions and make sure that the pedestrian sign crossing is turned off so they people cannot use them so this way, you keep the, the pedestrians uh, with their dogs and their cats and their parrots uh, off the highway, off the road. And, you know, in, in city skylines, people even don't mind to walk. So even if you create um, walkways between uh, residential zone and industrial zones, even without a, a road or even with a sandy road or whatever, they will still walk towards their work. So don't be surprised by it. Don't be surprised by that. Now, okay, maybe you already spotted in the right corner. The next uh, subject is like metros. No, you can see already a lot of people spawning here from the metro, and they're running across, you know, this pedestrian road over the roundabout. Now imagine if all these people would be crossing this little pedestrian road over here, then. You know, the, these cars would standing there until Christmas 2031. We don't want that. Metros in general. I will click it. Uh, let's find the Metro tab. It's here now. It can be looking a little bit overwhelming because of all the lines that are going crisscross through your, uh, well, your city. I prefer loops, loops per area. Um, some are overlapping, but it's okay. It's no problem. So I have like a yellow loop, you can see over here, going all the way here, 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 and back. 
I have a purple loop going here and no correction that's a train <laughs> that's a train line my bad uh, let me see where do I have more a loop I have a loop over here a green one and do I have one over here yeah a blue one and also a red one over here now what do you notice about these things is like they're where they meet look at that those stations they are very close to each other so people can take a loop make sure that they don't have to travel long if they want to stay local and if they want to go further away they can just hop from one place to another place and make sure that they are able to and for the love of god turn off the pedestrian crossings otherwise they will choke this uh, junction over here so metros i can only i can only say like yes use them use them plenty because people love the metro and and you can also see like uh, if you click the metro how many people are using them now let's check it out here on this thing how many how many lines do i have in this city i think i have nine yeah i have nine lines well you can see how many passengers there are going and also keep an eye on the amount of uh, vehicles uh, you are mm, using because every vehicle can carry up to 180 uh, passengers so this one for example well it has like 700 people if you think like hmm that's a lot you can always tap this option and check it out how many people you can check out here on the right how many people are actually waiting well as you can see it's not that much it's this is fairly balanced it's like these metros are quite nicely filled up now if you think like yeah you know what let's add another one just put the slider to the right and we add just one extra metro you know just because we are we are a nice mayor <laughs> we are a nice mayor okay let's escape so metros yes definitely why because they take very little space all the stuff is underground so it's not bothering you and I think they are far more better than regular trains because I have a regular train running here a regular train line you see them here and this takes up so much space you know and actually I would recommend trains only when covering very long distances but okay it's up to you where you want to put your trains also trains and metros can be combined in the sense of like where there is like a, a train um, station now let's get back to the you know to the overview and let's say yeah here for example i keep this train station very close to the metro and make corresponding paths to make sure that people who exit this terminal will walk over this pathway to here to here to here um or here to here and here to here now what i still can do here i just spot it by the way it's just a little thing but just create like an exit here so so they have to walk a little bit less if they come from here you see these people walking they want this metro they can go to it and they are done okay so my god i'm still not there yet now next item buses you know what from my experiences buses are a menace why i see so many players using buses they plunk down all these uh, you know bus stops in an area and they don't think about it in any regard um, i see making them mistakes like putting bus stops like directly next to a roundabout which is bad directly next to a junction which is bad uh, directly next to something or a place where it is busy in general it is bad um, not only that a bus stop is so easily uh, you know plonked down that you easily create 20 maybe 30 stops most players after they have put bus stops down they think like okay I give it a nice color done with it next you know that is what is happening and then it happens and then it happens then the bus depot is pumping out all these buses and the player is not even aware of it if you have like 30 stops for example 
it will pump out like 40, 50, 60, sometimes 70 buses. I have seen videos in which players have like 70 buses on, on one line and all these buses are going through these little areas sometimes over the most smallest streets they can find and they blocking everything up. The buses are causing more traffic jam than they are solving. My point is, is like buses, I, I tend to avoid them and if I'm using them if I'm using them, okay, you can use them, but do it delicately. So I only use them in this area, I will show you. And what I also do is like, try to make the buses take as many right turns as possible when you create the line. Okay, I will show you. I will show you by going to buses, which is, I have only one line, which is, uh, this blue line over here. I think I started here. Uh, let me select the line. And as you can see, it's not a very long line. It is uh, going around this area. As you can see by its direction, it is following a path that makes it only, only, nearly only going right turns, you see? And it stops at places where people can hop in. Like for example here, you have like an, uh, you know, a path in between this road here. Look, those people are walking out, they're going there, they're happy. Here I made even a special uh, exit, so they can uh, yeah, also uh, go to their favorite places. Here they will turn around, they take this roundabout. Well, they can take a left turn on the roundabout, that's not a bad thing. Here they stop close to this uh, junction so they can also uh, walk over this pathway and this pathway and so on. Here also they stop so they can go to these malls, no problem. Here they stop, take a right turn, take another right turn and this is the only place where they take two left turns because yeah I had to go back to the uh, place of origin but as you can see it's not very busy around here. I can show you by getting out of here again and going to the traffic overview. It's 86%, it's all green, so it's nice. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. So, buses, it's okay, but keep an eye on them. And once you made a line, go to the settings and just check the amount of buses you have on your line. Uh, wait a second, Whoa, wrong button. So I have on this bus line only six vehicles. Yes, only six vehicles. That's more than enough. And I don't see that many people waiting either. I don't think so. Well, oh, 291 over here. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I give them two buses extra because there are two, 200 and nearly 300 people waiting here. So you can click that spot and you can see, oh, okay, that's this spot. So, you know, it's a little bit of, of, of common sense thinking, like, okay, don't, don't just let the system decide, you decide. You decide, you are the mayor, you, you decide how many buses they are driving, you decide where the buses are driving, how they are, dri how they are driving, where they are driving. Um, and my advice is, don't, actually don't use them uh, if possible, preferably use Metro. You know, I rather prefer a, a loop metro around here connected to this one and having no buses on the road at all. Because the buses here, they stop and on these main roads it's fairly okay, but once they are entering the city it's like <laughs> Okay, next, because we are running and racing through time. Industrial areas, oh my, you know, that's the torture of many city skyline players. Many city skyline player has like issues with industrial areas. Now, currently I have two of them. Um, I can say this already at, at once. Main biggest tip is don't make them too big. And I have to admit this one is to the edge. Why? You can see it by the sheer amount of traffic already. So I see many people making um, an, uh, an industrial area and they 
throw down all these extractors whether it's for farming whether it's for wood whether it's for oil or oil it does not matter they plonk down a, a huge amount of extractors in storage facilities and they forget about the fact that for example the storage facilities have a lot of trucks and these trucks are going on the road as you can see here i mean like i said this is like the maximum i will not put any more in here huh? I will not put more in here because this is pretty busy. Now I optimize this area by using what I call colder sacks. Now they are not really colder sacks in the li uh, literal sense of the word, but what I'm doing is like you see, like these extractor buildings over here. I use the lane connectors to say, like, you go in, you go to the right, you do your thing, and you collect the oil you go out and you go on right and here the same here the same here the same here the same and then just follow the path that an industry is 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 making for you is wanting from you you know it's like extraction storage uh you need barracks here and there so you do the same as well then you have like a production building in this case to make plastics and here you make like uh, oh, that's a parking soil my bad you make petroleum plastics and petroleum and after that you can make plastic products and you can see even set to 150 percent this thing is producing despite not having that many you know that many um, oil producing um, uh, buildings pumps in this case so you can see that well, this will go on and on and on and on. And now you might think like, what is this kind of stuff? Well, these buildings also require services like police and ambulances and uh, I don't know, ice cream cars. So I make a road here in between that allows these services like police and ambulance to go there. They make their rounds, they come around and then they can drive here. And with the traffic manager, you can click on vehicle restrictions and you see already what I've done. I allow only service vehicles to use these roads. So no trucks will go into here in the service vehicles like this. I think it's a police car or not. What is it? No, oh, it's a hearse. It's a hearse. Okay. So they will go into here and they will take care of your industrial area for every services it needs uh yes so uh did i told you yes about these roads need to be one way as possible so they will not sit in each other's way and these all these cars you're seeing here most of them are trucks are not sitting in each other's way and give them options like i have did here like for example if they want to export this oil to the highway fine then they take this off ramp here you know one going to the highway and one going to the other highway in both directions yeah okay so let me see what do we have more mm, an academic year report yeah we have that but it has nothing to do with traffic <laughs> okay trains passengers or cargo trains yes the biggest mistake i see people make is like yeah there's a train connection coming from somewhere like here outside of the map let's you know put like all connections on it they have like um, a cargo train connection on it uh, cargo trains like here and they also add passenger trains on it now if you look to my passenger train uh, trains you can see there's only one lane uh, where is this freaking lane it's the where is this lane uh, let me see it's the purple one yeah and these orange blobs are passenger terminals now you can see that there is no cargo train terminal attached to it um, cargo train terminals are only used to export like uh, this line does you have like uh, here this is a uh, combination it's a hub it's a cargo uh, hub with a harbor and it, the only thing this thing does is import and export you see it will only go outside the map that way you can also create a 
cargo uh, train terminals uh, between two areas so that for example if you have like uh, an industrial area and a commercial area so uh, goods that are produced in an industrial area can be taken to a commercial area but I don't have such a such a situation on this map so I cannot show you but it is useful okay next Lane mathematics on all roads. Lane mathematics. Well, probably you already have seen them around here, for example. This is a good example. So what did I create here? So you see the six lane road here, and I'm diving here off for a, you know, a bus stop with just a one lane road. Now I use here an asymmetrical road, which is part of the network extensions to mod, also listed below. And you add that into between because you have like three lanes here and then one is going off so you need two lanes over here and with the traffic manager mod you take the, the lane connector you click this node and you press shift s or ctrl s depending a little bit on which version you are using now I decided on this new version of labs to turn it back to shift s because Ctrl S was messing up with toggle node snapping. Every time I pressed Ctrl S it turned this option off. So do yourself a favor, just you know, a tip. Go to your settings, options, to TMPE, go to key bindings, stay in lane and put it back to shift plus S. It works uh, just as fine. I think, to my opinion, it works even better because the combination of the key Shift and S is, I don't know, e economically, ergonomically better for your fingers than the little tiny control key anyway. So, so yeah, these are, yeah, this is just lane uh, mathematics. It's just accounting lanes, uh, making sure that the amount of lanes that are going into each other are uh, fitting. So how can I demonstrate this? Um, let's see. You have like, uh, well, you have like this road, and you want, uh, let's see, a two-lane road off like this, and maybe another one is uh, joining here. And uh, I'm, I'm just trying something out. Let's see, where is this? Uh, three lane road from here to there, from here to there, from here to there. Where's this one laner? No, two laner again. And I'm losing track a little bit. Okay, you connect this to there, you connect it, that to there, that to there. No. Okay, this is very rudimentary, but it's the idea that counts. Now, what do you think would be the best situation to deal with this situation? Now, let's this going on like that okay if you follow um, lane mathematics you would say like well we have two la uh, three lanes coming in and we have two lanes going out basically that would mean that you need actually only one lane over here hmm only one lane so there is a road that is uh, one lane and that is the national highway which is this the national road it would be like this, 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 and this. Would I, would I advise this to you? Certainly not. No, because look at this, you know. This is like you have li like uh, lanes that are doing three things. That is like uber, uber bad. In this situation, I would rather advise you to... Um, just a sec. Just making this a little bit more, you know, nicer to the eye, like that. Now, what I would advise you in this situation is like, take the uh, highway ramp, turn these ones into one lanes, because off and on ramps, one lane is more than enough. So you can turn this one in a two laner, for example, uh, let's say this one. Now you can see that this traffic has way more options already, like here in the middle. Uh, you can see now 
two lanes going straight on and left and one right. Now remember that if I click this option and click the lane arrows, you click the entire junction with the control key and click, you know, now you have designated lanes. You see? So traffic that wants to go off yeah, can just go follow that route. And traffic that wants to go to the left can go to here. You can even put a tiny roundabout in the middle of here. That's totally up to you. But yeah, this is this is the idea how I should do it. Of course, in a little bit uh, nicer style than this, you know, <laughs> crap crappy uh, thing. So let's remove this because this is looking uh, very crappy, like that. Okay, that's about lane mathematics. Lane management is basically the appliance of the lane connectors. So there's a difference. Lane mathematics is just the counting of the amount of lanes that they always will match. So you have like three lanes, which is go one is going off in one lane. So two lanes have to go forward. You see this a lot on highways I have around the city. For example, this T-junction over here. This is the standard one you will find in... Uh, city skylines i always change this middle part in a two laner and then with the traffic manager i always add like these connecting you know connecting uh, the, these connecting yeah these lane con and i always connect these with using these lane connectors so traffic will not sit in each other's way I also apply a few of them in front of them so people will lane change, you know, far ahead of the uh, the junction itself. No? Yeah? Okay. So, okay, where were we? Let's get out of here. Um, then about speed, Ab about these bypasses. I can show that here. Now, let's say, for example, you want... It, now this is not a very busy uh, junction, busy roundabout, but let's say that it is a very busy roundabout. And most people want just to go straight on. So you say in traffic manager with the speed button over here, I already done it, but to just illustrate that taking this bypass will speed up to 100. And if you're using this uh, road only, it will make you go 40. So people will not be happy to take this road because it's going too slow. So that's another option to get traffic around here, avoiding even this roundabout. So people that are on the roundabout going to a left or a right don't have anything to do with people that are going straight on. Yeah, okay. So I also spot something else now and that is like parking idiots over here. Go away with them. <laughs> yeah you always have them okay so i think that we are nearly there and there's only one thing remaining and that is like the usage of this road and i would recommend not using this road it's the six lane one way road this road is awful. I see many people using this road in, uh, for example, industrial areas. They build entire industrial areas. Now I'm going underground. I feel like a Seniac over here, but okay, it's fine. Um, they are using this kind of road. And you know what? Ignore this road. This road is terrible. I mean, more lanes is not always better. Frankly to say, more lanes is actually worse. So take your bulldozer and go like <laughs> I'm even underground. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes, now that's in general uh, my um, yeah, my tutorial for you guys. Uh, all the mods that I stated in this video are linked uh, in the description below. Um, if you have furthermore any questions then uh, feel free to ask them um, yeah maybe a little thing that I forgot to say is about parking lots uh, in my city I apply a lot of uh, parking lots you can see that many uh, cars are being parked 
because many of these uh, roads, for example these uh, small four lane roads and also the, the roads with the uh, bushes, I don't know if I have them, those small ones with just the bushes, I think a few of them, yeah here, here a few, no these are not with the bushes but anyway that's, um, let me see, that's this one. Mm, many people are using this road. This road, this road has no native parking on it. So do your pedestrians a favor, um, put either a, let me see, a parking lot like uh, this one on it. And you will make the people very happy because they can park their cars. You see? What I just do is just I make these parking lots myself just simply because you can determine where cars are parked like for disabled parking, uh, EV parking, electric vehicle parking and you can put them anywhere and, um, and they look very nice too by the way it's like uh, yeah so uh, yeah that's the only thing I can uh, say also especially uh, use them near big uh, you know buildings where there are events holding place so um, let me see do i have where do i have them more or like like uh, near big malls for example or here in this case near the ferry stop uh, here this is a commercial area um, and here in this case here well people are living also some commercial over here i think and here I did the same, a lot of uh, big buildings, but you can see that these things are used, they are used heavily, you can see, a lot of cars there. Okay, so that was the last thing I forgot to mention, and um, yeah, that's it basically. Okay guys, like uh, like I said, uh, just like I just said, if you have any uh, more questions, feel free to uh, ask them in the question uh, comment box below. Links are provided uh, to all the mods. Um, yeah, and that's it. Hope you have a good time and uh, please let me know what your results are with, uh, with traffic. Uh, if you have a nice city with despawn mode off, like I have around here and you have your traffic above 80% then you can definitely say you are a, a good traffic planner um, and yeah and you know put a link in uh, in my video to show your progress uh, this even applies to big cities small cities does not even matter I mean if you have the, 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 the you know all the options that I said if you put them in the right perspective then in many cases you will not have any traffic problems whatsoever and if you play with despawn mode on this is, these things also help then you will definitely never have any traffic issues at all okay guys snowy is signing off and uh, well I will save this game because in the meantime I have uh, you know added some uh, cash big money moolah to the you know to the bank balance which is nice and uh, I will continue this series as well you can also follow this series as well on my main channel and uh, yeah thank you for watching and until next time see you guys bye bye